Okay, so. <clears> Hello <throat> world, it's been a little while. Um, since we played last time, I have installed the DLC, kindly donated by Rube, who had them lying around. Uh, level 25 and level 30 per Peril on Gorgon and Murder on Emery Danos. Hmm. I don't need to worry about these just yet. Hello, Lost. Hello, Clinker. Welcome in to both of you. Oh, so you can give more information? Good, okay. What level are we then? Let's get back into the game and find out what what's going on. It's been a little while. Hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for joining. And now we're going through here to uh, HRS 1084. No, I didn't give up. <laughs> I gave up. I did. I'm level 23. Okay, so we're about the right level to start that, but if I wanted to. Um, okay, so our current mission. Um, yeah, I thought about a cool party to play the game through with, Lost. Um, yeah, I was tired. I figured I was, I was too tired. Uh, I've been tired a lot lately. So... I mean, pretty much, I think it's the early starts, you know, I, I think they, they're they're killing me right now. Because um, today, pretty much, I've, I've, I've gone to work, and then I've, I've got home at two, and slept from half two until half five. And then got some food, and then thought, should I start streaming? And I thought, should I do a recording instead? I thought, oh, I'll do a stream, and then here we are. So that's been my day. Um, so, um, yeah, yeah, and, and, um, so we've got a couple of days off to celebrate our overlords, um, Thursday to, uh, well, from Thursday onwards, Thursday to Monday, well, Thursday to Sunday, if you like, um, so... Couple of good lions there, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So that's that's what I'm kind of hoping is that it'll just uh, just reboost me. <clears throat> but uh, here we are playing this playing this now. Um, Realise that we've got this mind control way, haven't we? Am I mind control ray? Cool. Okay. My current mission is the Ice Palace. So. Lilia Hagen is another lead on some valuable salvage. An abandoned space station. She gave you an override bypass that should uh that should stake her claim over the HRS 1084 as the rightful property of sublight salvage. So that's what we've got to do. We've got the override the override cartridge will uh land hand over control of the station systems to sublight, legitimizing Lilia's claim over the salvage. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. And it's not sleep perfect. I'm not I'm sleeping though. I'm sleeping. Um, I'm just tired all the time. You know, I, I gotta wake up at five in the morning to get to work and, and it just it, I think it's just taking its toll. So it's not as addictive, maybe. Um but it's not that I'm not sleeping. I just have to sleep all the freaking time. Um so we're in here. We're gonna bring the vicar. I remember that. I think we already decided that we in Ellie. Okay, I think that we already decided to do that. So let's go ahead and do that and see what's on here. So I think tonight I'm just going to do this quest. Don't know how long it's going to be, what we're going to find. But that's my plan is to pretty much just do this quest and see how we go. Hello, Paul. How are you? It is nice to see you. Hope everything's. Think there's a generator somewhere? Can we find Dandy. That's why I brought you, Ellie. You're a mechanic. We're here to uh, mechanize stuff. Okay. So mechanical sentry makes me think we've got mechanical sentries around somewhere. Because <clears throat> I am like so smart and stuff. 
Let's look at our weapons. All right, we've got a mind control ray. That's pretty cool. Uh, whatever this is, let's have a look here, actually. A grenade launcher, thought rifle, and plasma carbine. Um, if we're going to be up against sentries, we probably need our gloop gun rather than the rocket launcher. So I hope everyone's doing well. How was uh, your Tuesday? Uh, shipping manifest. Shipping label one case of UDL concussive mines to HRS 1084. Signed by Chief Security Ida, Kim Ida Kimball. Warning. Contents may have shifted in transit. Warranty is void if any and all detonated mines are regardless of cause. Tampering with disabling or destroying the mines is a fireable offence. Mines are not company authorised decoration, pets or sporting equipment. Mines are not suitable for ingestion. Mines are not eligible for any recycling promotion. Do not purposely stand, sit or, or, or recline on mines. Mines are not your friend. UDL claims no liability for any action taken or not taken by mines. UDL recognises that you could have chosen any remote explosive provider. Your commitment guarantees product quality and safety. Asterix. Packing while being here as well. You're going to your parents again, I think? Many shipments to come. Thank you. I have a pleasant detonation. Quality and safety not guaranteed. <laughs> guarantees product and quality and safety. Quality and safety not guaranteed. I'm not sure if that would work, you know. That would stand up. It's all very intriguing, isn't it? Always look up in video games. It's, it's like a like a like a Victorian greenhouse in a space station. So bizarre. A mine. Hmm. Work trip up to Norway. Oh, okay. So that's kind of cool. Or cold even. <laughs> um, how long are you going to be there for? Okay, can't really get anywhere here, can we? Curious, though. Very curious. Till Saturday. Okay. So no lost stream on Friday. I'll be out probably um, doing D&D &D or some kind of game thing anyway. Speaking of which, any updates? No. <clears throat> no, he's strange? Hmm. And why is that, Clinker? Yeah, I'll be out, but I'll, I'll be pretending I'm in a magical fantasy world being someone else, so... Does it really count? Ah, uh, Captain. A word of caution. Those auto-mechanicals are likely to wake when we power the generator. Thank you. Why I brought you along. <laughs> Outrageous, I know. Um... Universal Vessel issues will let you remind employees that there is no responsible for the highly unfortunate but realistic, realistic probable case of loss of life in its facilities. Unable to access memory cartridge, terminal power below 5%, terminal in this mode. We've got to restore power. First thing we have to do then. It's good to get ourselves acquainted with the place though. Yeah, so they'll all burst out of there when we start the power up. Canteen. Someone threw away some fried crispy bits. It's not good. Of course, you can be out as Varex, right? Don't be too. Over no, no, not gonna happen. They're not in the EU. 
Um, yes. Very strange. I'm going to be coughing quite a bit and stuff, you know. My cough's not as bad as it was. And it's not, um, it's not COVID. It's purely congestion due to... My cold, which... It was pretty bad, but it's it was bad because Oh, nice. Should pay more attention to that. I um That'll be useful when these come back online, these security things. I haven't been sick in about two years, right? I haven't been sick. No, no illness for two years because of social distancing and all that. Plus I'm quite good at keeping away from people anyway. So um mm -hmm. Hmm. So my no double jump this is not doom. Um, yeah, my my what's it called? My immune system like hasn't really been doing anything. So hmm, okay. <clears throat> They're in NATO. They can be leaders of, of EU fin uh, finance projects. No, probably not. Um, they're very ecological conscious. Uh, they do their money with gas. They do their money with gas. Do I do any spots? <laughs> do I do any spots? Yeah, <laughs> do any. Oh, boy. Oh, funny. Funny lady. Right, where do I go? Hello, Rube. How are you? How do I get in there? Sealed, okay. How are you doing, Rube? Sealed. Oh. Curious. <clears throat> hey, Rube, E D Rube, Ruby Rube. All right. That's that's what you like. That's cool. Get that zoom. Got that me. Uh, got. That call got me good as well. Was one day off, not even sick leave. Took one day off afterwards, but got reprimanded by, by all. No, that's 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 not. It's not good, is it? It's not good. It's not fun. Um, was flattered. Yeah, by. Indeed. Um. I took I took half a day of holiday, a week ago. Sealed as well. Where do I go? What do I do? What have I missed? Be something obvious. You'd think. Um, so I haven't had any time off sick. Right, there's another another. Okay, yeah. Go on, click it. There you go. Here we go. Blimey. <laughs> Not paying enough attention to the game. Just, 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 I wouldn't go there. I wouldn't go there. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay, so engineering section terminal. Generator state is active. Generator mode maintenance 2% output. Not a lot. Maintenance mode is active. Minimal functions available. Can we make it so it's normal? Disabling emergency lighting. Activating lights. Activating... Security protocols, that's a big thing. Air recyclers, good. All right. New laboratory sent, option selected, nice. Flushing toilets. Error flushing toilets. See maintenance logs for details. Nice. Nice. 
Maintenance logs. All right, why not? Uh, critical issues one, non -crit non critical issues two. Critical issues one. Toilet in the maintenance. <laughs> this is a critical. I guess it is. The maintenance barracks does not flush. Replacement part ordered. Uh, one thousand two hundred and forty-three days to go. Non critical issues. Um, since this is the Alta Vitae gas is leaking from storage tanks. It's toxic to humans. <laughs> this is non critical. I mean, all right. Priority set to non critical. Management does not utilize the Alta Vitae gas storage tank. Oh, okay. Management doesn't use it, so it's fine. That's cool. Sensors detect that new laboratory sent air freshener is running low. Let's repair the toilet. Was opened one, one uh, 991 days ago. Fine. Shit, we can't fix it. Oh. I see you have activated your holographic shroud, Captain. Excellent. Becoming indistinguishable from an authentic UDL trooper will prove advantageous to your current situation. Thank you, Ada. What's going on? A UDL vessel has been tracking our position and just recently docked with the station. They are patching into the station's transmission lines now. I cannot stop. I've been waiting for this day since we tagged our ship in Cascadia, Captain. <laughs> I... Wait, who are you? No one told me we had security forces deployed on the station already. Hello, uh, my team has already handled the issue. Your squad can depart. Yeah, might as well. Might as well go the uh, persuade route. Hello, Aaron Works. How are you? Nice to see you. Hope your week's going well. Everything's all right. We're fine. How are you? <laughs> Roger that. Just as a precaution, I'm sure you won't mind if we turn on the station security systems. Can't be too careful. We hate to leave this location undefended after a close call with outlaws. Mm hmm. Already done it. Uh, your readout must be on delay. Hmm. That should have been fixed by now. As you say, we'll just head out then. Oh, we're a, we're a liar. Okay. The UDL gunship is undocking from the station. Well done, me. Here to be departing into space. Well done, me. That was rather impressive, Captain. Diplomacy at its finest. Lying and stuff. Okay, so we've got we've got a um, disguise on. That's the thing at the bottom, but um, it's not making any difference. So changing weather is causing headaches, but apart from that, I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah, I've got a bit of a headache kicking in, but. Um, just, just, just working through it. I dig diggy hole on my head all day. Yeah, that's, uh, that's good. That's some good stuff, that is. Some good quality entertainment. Okay, that is dropping, though. Okay. So there's a bunch we can do in here. <laughs> okay. So this is going fairly well. So if we go in here, this will go on and be fine for a bit, though, I think. No? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, priority user Kimball. I, I am Kimball. Um, messages. Redact to redacted. Your concerns. Cost morale is low. You gave those PhDs tanks of nuclear and scramble, uh, scrambling gas, and no warm bodies to test them on. What do you think would happen? They can test on each other all they want, but no one lays a hand on my squad. I'm installing safeguards in case anyone challenges that decree, Kimball. From redacted to him, you asked that I reach out. I'm doing so. Is something I miss with the team? How is their morale? <laughs> we got you. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, she. Uh, she's been spying on us, Rube. Spying. <laughs> Look at the, the grass pollen from near from uh, a nearby shut down airfield. Hadn't reached you yet. I can get real spicy when they do. I, I, I hope it doesn't bother. 
Maybe the wind keeps uh, flowing in one direction or whatever. A bedtime story. Nice. Okay. From Kimball A to Kimball, uh, Kimball I to Kimball A. But I'm sorry. Once upon a time, there was a princess who trained to be a soldier. While the other princesses got jobs at uh, canaries, canaries <laughs> and counting houses, the soldier squinted down her sights at the firing range and made sure she hit the target every time. Then one day, a not very nice man offered her a job at an ivory tower far, far away from the kingdom. The princess could provide for her ailing father, her lovely child, and her goofball husband, but she would have to stay locked in the tower until the doctors could find a way out. Once she thought better of her choices, the princess applied for early dismissal, but no one listened. The end. I love you, Angelica. But maybe you can write me a better ending. Give me your father a hug and tell him I'm sorry for missing another birthday. You changed your outfit, Max. Keep oh, a boy. sharp eye out, Captain. One wrong step could incapacitate or kill. Uh, we're going to be uh, attacked now. Shock weakness. Okay, having uh, been shocked too many times, you have become sensitive to shock damage. Uh, shock damage will do plus 25%. There's not a lot of shock in the game, is there? <laughs> as far as I can tell. Mind you, the end boss probably will be very shocking, no doubt. I don't think we really need anything too much. Not even allergic, but the pollen gets real thick. I imagine that would be for an allergic. Probably really bad. Yeah, if that's the case. Probably very, very bad. Thankfully, I'm wearing masks anyway. At work, we have many medals surrounding us. This year, the concentration of pollen has been crazy here. Like, the worst last 100 years. Never had allergens until now. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah, that's that's the whole, whole thing with you. I've never had it. I've never had hay fever, thankfully. Uh, the UDL Electro for 3000 is online. Yeah, can we not do that? Thanks. Personal files. Mama Bear. <laughs> Kimball came by asking if any of the docs had been around. I told her what I know. It's been quiet, just as Alpha. She walked off with a spring in SF. Okay, weird. She requested UDL LSU 4 3000 for my checkpoint and a crate of concussion mines. Guess she didn't believe me. She's preparing for war. She's acting like she knows something the rest of us don't. Seems especially uncomfortable around the docks. Well, we found the mines already. So are any of these open now? Oh, all of them. Sweet. Oh, they're just staff quarters. Huh. Strange how they get shut down. Very basic. I guess it works all right. At least you get your own toilet and I'm guessing shower somewhere in here. Yeah, I guess it works. You know, you get your own bed, a little desk. Maybe this is some sort of TV as well. All right, fair enough. You want to get a side of night favor? I hope that's not contagious. That sounds horrible. Bigger than some student resident. Uh, I've... Um seen videos online of apartments in uh, in Tokyo and they're similar to this like all apartments that can fit into well this pretty much because you know space in Tokyo is 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 quite at a premium so they probably have like a like a mezzanine floor up there that you could crawl into as well 
make the most of the of the space. I mean, it's not terrible, is it? Storage space there and stuff, and I'll say you'll, yeah, you'll have a shower. Could be a lot worse. <clears throat> Tokyo's pretty crazy. I guess you've been. Have you been? Hmm? Science in action is both a marvelous and terrifying thing to behold. In this case, however, I'd say it's more the latter. I'm quite amazed by when you chat, it's like, oh yeah, when I was in Sri Lanka, when I was in India, when I was doing this, when I was doing that. You'd be unhappy with that little space to best? I don't think I'd mind. I don't think I'd mind. Personal uh, terminal for uh, Chartrand E. It has been 1,217 days since last login. It's like me and Facebook. Um, all right, security, let's have the top security routines. Security routines. Modify systems, access protocols. Unlock personal quarters. All right, we'll do that. Because we can hack. Yeah. Modify. Lodman. Use. Okay, fine. Insert sublate override cartridge. Okay. Have we just done that then? Okay. Right. We've completed the mission. That took half an hour. Not even that, actually. If you're in this, you're standing in the legal property of Sublight Salvage and Shipping. Good work, contractor. Report back to Sublight HQ. Collect your, your cut. Okay. Project summary. Executive research focus group. Purpose biological hybridization and assimilation strategies. Sounds pleasant. Yeah, I'm in Tokyo, but Kyoto and Osaka. And Osaka, not far from Tokyo. Okay, so you, you've pretty much been round it then. Okay. Hi, hey, Casper. How are you? The trick is to become small. Mm. And active team members go further the chimeric sciences via the targeted modification of human nucleon using strands obtained from Halcyon native formula classification C. Rap T. Um, 1002 AK. Rat done. It's come to my uh, this is from redacted to the lab. Station morale. Come to my attention that a culture of distrust has, has <coughs> excuse me. Soured relations between HRS 1084's research staff and security personnel. Many of you have submitted requests for early dismissal. To the research staff, the importance of your work supersedes any interpersonal conflict. To our security personnel, there'll be no early dismissal. You will also notice that your employment contract has no set end date. Wow. Wow. We can enjoy a discussion of morale and its impact on success metrics once the question of humanity's place in the housing colony is answered. In the meantime, get back to work. Woof. Woof. Three priority entries, Charlie, Ch uh, Claire, and James. Charlie. We almost lost Charlie. Let's go to Candy Mountain, Charlie. Was a runaway. Was a runaway. Uh, I'm good. How was your day? My day was alright, thank you. My day was just fine, thank you. Yeah, not much else to say. Just, just, just winding because we've got um, short week here, so tomorrow's Friday. So, yeah, everyone just wants to get to the, to the long weekend that we've been gifted by our overlords, which is very kind of them. Uh, we almost lost Charlie. <clears throat> it was a runaway um, re-sequencing -se -re shift. Once it started, it kept going, spreading beyond the isolated tissue uh, and a full-blown systematic infiltration. He said it was like every organ was itchy. We told him we'd ice him, freeze him until we could work out how to reverse what had gone wrong. Ah, uh, he's the guy in the jar then. 
Every time Law walked by me, she rubbed my shoulders and asked me to take a different reading. They didn't need to be taken. It was just to keep my mind occupied. She's been checking on me every hour since. We, we had to put Claire in ice today. She and the others drew straws. Claire lost. The change was slow this time. At first, the re-sequence uh, stayed within normal parameters, but then it spread again, just like with Charlie. Tomorrow, I'm reaching out to my handler directly and need some answers. This log is being entered by Dr. Fowl. I had to, to prescribe Dr. Challenge enough alternatives to rock out a primal. Yesterday morning, Dr. Guthrie and I drew straws to decide which of us would be next set, the next to test subject. He pulled the short one. No new developments. After all our sacrifices, it still feels like we're miles away from a breakthrough. Eva hasn't forgiven herself for the losses. Maybe some time away from H. RS 1084 would clear her mind. The board confirmed the receipt of my report and transmitted our recall notice. We're just awaiting transport. I wish we could take some time away from the project to clear our heads, but we're not even close to that point. Let's access the outbound comms transcript. Okay. Uh, is anyone listening to this frequency? Who is this? Uh, I'm the project lead of 1084. I wanted. Station 1084, you have orders to maintain wireless silence until a mission end state is achieved. Override, overword, password, antediluvian. What can I do for you, Doctor? The board told me they would deliver my queries without uh, about our transcription problem to the Cornelius Vanderbilt. Where are we with that? I'm afraid I can't provide an update status at this time, Doctor. The assault cruiser should have arrived by, um, on Earth by now. Uh, my query was addressed to the Camerial Research Department at George uh, D. Heversey Institute of Budapest. One of my associates will reach out when we have an update. When? Uh, when? When we have an update. When? Are you in contract with the assault cruiser? What happened out there? Station 10 is change for misuse of this channel is a fireable offence uh, as is abusing your executive override. Save, save in case of emergency. Damn it, this is a... An, a Okay, fine. Oh dear. Cut off. Well, Sublight will be well pleased that you claim the station for them. Myself, I'll be fine leaving this place. You keep his his armor Can't keeps changing hand? to hers. We've seen that name before, back in Cascadia. Okay. I think that's everything. We might get into a fight on the way out. No. They're fine. Might as well look around then. Holding tank 2, Dr. Claire Piersal. Alive, unstable condition. Active. Subject's condition is dire, making sure resuscitation devices are on hand upon revival. Please hold on, Claire. We're almost had it this time, I swear. We'll bring you back with love. In, in there, maybe? Well, we didn't tie a mission, it looks like, without... Oh, up there. There we go. Without firing a shot. Well, we at some at some um, mines, but meh. Have to retire before they find me. Thanks for the fun, Varax. Recovery from all. Good night. Good night, Clinker. Sleep well. It's only 14 degrees. That's too hot. Only 14 degrees right here. Yeah, 14 degrees sounds nice. It's gotta be that around here as well. It's cold. Ah, it's balmy. It's very warm. Uh, this is James Guthrie. Extremely unstable. Subject will need extensive nuclear re-sequencing for any chance of viable extraction. So sorry I ended up like this. James will come back for you and fix this, I swear. Will you? <laughs>
This is Charles McNulty. Subject should not be revived until a method for stabilizing his condition is found. Oh, okay. Cheery. Oh, yep. Well, we're done here. I thought that would take longer. Go and uh, turn this quest in. Yeah, it's um, going to be a nice weekend. <laughs> it is going to be a nice weekend. Impeccable timing, Captain. I was about to watch the latest episode in Halcyon Helen's thrilling serial adventure. Is that actually a quest? I don't see it. Ah, look, Rube, I have, um... Yeah, okay, so this is the, um, the, the, the DLC. I've got DLC, Rube, for some reason. Thanks, Rube. Let's go back to Groundbreaker then and, uh, turn this in. Although, hang on a minute. Before we do that, Ellie wanted some extra stuff, didn't she, to woo her, um, her engineer friend. This one here, sweetheart cakes for for a date with June Lee. That's it, Pavati, not um, what's her name? Okay, yeah, indeed. They're predicting a new round of storms and tornadoes for Germany in the coming weekend. Okay, yeah, eighty degrees is is that's that's pleasant. 26 degrees is pretty warm for me. Honestly, can't tolerate 30 plus. Just melting away. Yeah, 30 plus is, is quite extreme. Yeah, 18 is good for camping. Yeah, I would say that. Yeah. So let's go to um, Cascadia for the first time. I haven't been there yet. My plan for this stream was to just do what we've just done, but obviously that's a little short even for me. So we're going to go to... Um, Monarch, apparently. One of Olympus's many satellites. What should have been Halcyon's second inhabitable world has long since been abandoned by the board due to monsters and ravenous creatures. We've probably got another quest here as well. But that's what we're doing. And that's where they want us to go. Still a bit is where we've just been. Ballbrook. I don't know if I've been there. We'll go. We'll go there. Why not? We're in orbit over Cascadia, Captain. Wonderful. Captain, I wish to offer my commendations for convincing the UDL's gunship to leave HRS-1084. I did not favor the idea of being stripped and sold for parts. You're welcome. Probably got a couple things going on here. Well, I should really equip Pavati with some uh, stuff since she's coming along this time. And she's basically got her, her regular equipment, although I don't seem to have a lot. Armor 7 is not fantastic, is it? Um... She's got a perk available. Nice. Hi, Cell. Welcome in. How are you? <laughs> nice room. Nice. So she's range damage, not much threat generation, and um, engineering. Okay.
So we get that one then. Increase the damage dealt by the companion for a short time after performing their companion ability. I will get them as well. So she's really good at engineering. Uh, we'll bring her along. Yeah, nice. Finally started playing Dragon Age. Oh, what about weapons? <laughs> what about weapons for her? Um, that seems pretty good. That's a, yeah, I mean, well, yeah, okay. No, that works. Mind you, that's Ellie. That's the wrong person. There you are. Okay. Get a grenade launcher. Look at a light machine gun. Yep. And I don't have any melee weapons at all, so that'll do. Um, it's been in my Steam for a long time. And I've got around to it just like a, a few other games. Indeed. Yep, I mean, I could have played Dragon Age today, but I wanted to play something a little... The lighter, I guess. All right, we'll get Pavati and we'll bring along. Okay. Um. So, what are you up to? What's uh, what have you? What origin have you chosen, Cell? So we've got quite a few quests here. The first one is Don't Bite the Sun, though, which is what we're here for, and then we can have a look at the rest of it. There's our marvellous ship. The Unreliable has been pretty reliable, though. Place has seen better days, it looks like. <laughs> More shooty. Definitely. Been thinking about some other games I want to start playing on the channel. Might start City Skylines again. Um, and do uh, maybe some Metro or some Stalker. What was it like in Edgewater? I hear you workers were on the clock every available moment. We always got eight hours a day for sleeping. Just not always consecutive. Huh. My condolences. I appreciate consistent wages like any other sane person, but that still sounds awful. At least Sanjar gives his folks weekends. Weekends? Hands of the void. I used to drop by the bar in Stellar Bay to knock a few back with the folks who had Saturdays off. Don't know what I'd have done with that much time. I was always behind schedule anyhow. Knowing you, you'd sit and be alone with your thoughts. Hmm. Party bants. Nice. Sure, the Skyline stuff for the sale at the moment, maybe Humble, can't remember. Yeah, I know there's there's a couple of things I don't have, like an airport DLC. I mind trying that out. You know, we'll do another practice city, which will last about four months, maybe longer. Oh nice. That's exactly what I needed. Not for you, though. There you go. We'll see if we can find a... Um... A workbench for you. Uh, not good. Good for us, though. For loots. I don't think there's going to be mechs around here.
Playing a human mage, very ambitious and dislikes Templars. Total glass cannon mage at that. Love playing glass cannons. They're very, very fun playing glass cannons. It's my favourite sort of archetype of character to play. Been thinking a bit lately about... This is kind of connected, but not really, but almost. Um... How combat works in RPGs, pretty much. Specifically, like, D&D &D and D&D &D and, and sort of Roll20, uh, D20 systems, like, uh, like what we played last night. And it's kind of got me thinking about a couple of things, because you take a, a mage, right? <clears throat> a mage has a certain number of spells, which they can keep casting until, until they run out, right? So... The longer a mage kind of operates, the less effective they get um, before they, they need to take a breather. Whereas a fighter is just as effective when they've just rested and they're at, they're at full hit points. Then if they've been awake for 36 hours and they're on one hit point, they still roll the same die to, you know, to hit and that kind of thing. Might be a couple modifiers, but pretty much they... They can do the same kind of thing, right? Hiya, Lodash, how are you? And as part of Tyania, I want to re... Um, redesign, or, or pretty much make another RPG system. And I was thinking about making fighters a bit like mages in the fact that they don't just, like, roll to hit. For example, you have a certain amount of abilities that you can use, which are a finite before you, you you take a breather. So in a, in a in a fight, you might have a certain like like number of, of skills you can use with the weapon that you have before you become tired out and you can't use it anymore. Because fighting is difficult, right? Fighting is tiring, and these would regenerate or you know re re repopulate after the fight or when you take a, a bit of a breather. A bit like spells, if you like. But so rather than rolling to hit all the time, you would be you'd have this sort of like finite amount of moves that you could do as a fighter, um, or a rogue or whatever, and your damage would be sort of tied to like a fatigue kind of thing. Fatigue instead of magic points. Yeah, kind of. Um so if you did like a really powerful attack, which is bound to do some damage. Oh, there you go. Um then it does the damage or whatever, but it also tires you out as well because you've really exerted yourself in doing it. So it's it's like managing how much, um, like what you can do. So I'm just like, just started thinking about that like, like 24 hours or so. Like the rules of Streamlined, as you know me, right? Rules light. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's that's the thing you've got to do is is make sure that it's streamlined yeah, enough have taste buds. to... Um, not be forever looking stuff up um about what you've what you've got and stuff like that so but yeah that's that's the basis of what i'm kind of thinking <clears throat> if i return from a stressful weekend my parents place yesterday get to chill today laptops on the verge of exploding oh that's not good that's not good why was it stressful <laughs> wildlife examination report a report written by rezo wildlife specialist regarding project Patero. It lists concerns with a higher than average volume of um, Pateri corpses uh, may be attracting local wildlife, combined with the alluring purpleberry aroma coming from the Cascadia bottling plant. The engineer worries that raptodons may be encroaching ever closer to the walls. Hey, it's simple. Long time to see. Yeah, it's been a little while, hasn't it? Sorry, I've not, not been particularly well, so I haven't been streaming. And I'm still not really, but um, I thought I'd put a little, little stream out to touch base with you guys. Exactly, Rube. Exactly, yeah. Um, we're well, doing well, simple, because it's it's just so dull, right? Um, you just roll to hit, roll to hit, roll to hit. Oh God, really? Roll to hit. Yeah, I'm going to roll to hit. Yeah, I'm going to attack and roll. To oh, for God's sakes, you know this is as far as we've come, really. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh man, um, yeah, it's just so insipid and and oh, so. We're trying to mix it up a bit. I do think that D&D &D, um, 
is completely overrated as a rules, as, as like a mechanics. I think it's completely overrated and just isn't very good. Um, and it's kind of based on things, you know, that, that were made at the, at the inception of role playing. And they're like intrinsic to to the mechanics, like like the D twenty, for example, and all that kind of stuff. And you just you know it's a, like break away a little bit, right? Um, because yeah, it's just wow, just just I just I I've I've I've, I've played like real D and D for a while now, and it's I, I just find it like ugh, really <laughs> so I find it like re extremely overrated. Um. We kind of noticed in the battery and the laptop was expanding to agree that it bulge out the laptop. That's not good. Back up in data, searching for a replacement, disposing of the fire hazard, set up your devices, you know, vacations are free. Okay. Could be made like sausage spells in D&D &D, where you have a set maneuvers that you'll learn and can choose which maneuvers you pick until you run out. Exactly. That's exactly how it would work. Yep. Exactly that. And when you level up, you get more moves and stuff you can do. Um, and that, that kind of thing. So yeah, that's that's. I think that'll be a far more engaging. And I'm gonna roll to hit. Um. <laughs> all right. Uh, the other walls are theoretically sound. The engineer ones they're relatively shallow. Particularly clever reptiles could. Like, have I have I been here before? I have, you know. God damn it, I've been here before. Um. That took a while for to 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 kick in. So the sweetheart cake is over here. How do you feel about third age kind of compares? No experience of playing anything else. Thirteenth age. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm back. Is a lot better than. So I've got to go all the way around. Yeah, this sucks. This this the fact that this door isn't open. Bit of a blow. So I've got to go. Like there. Oh, I can fast travel to. Oh, I can fast travel when I when I. I'm not near hostiles. Okay. Took me a while to realize where I was then, but it's been a while since I played. So yeah, thir thirteenth age is a lot better. Because you got different moves to do, right? You know, you got different different. Things you can try, and and um, it's not just all roll to hit, pretty much. It is, in essence, at, you know, at the end of the day. But then, everything will, you know, will be when you boil it down. Well, thirteenth th age is a big improvement over um, D and D. Well, this is going well. <laughs> the management system could easily be adapted to that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. D&D 3.5 is a nice expansion book. Tome of battle with melee classes with maneuvers and different methods of gaining and regaining those maneuvers which play in the melee character more interesting. I think, as far as I can tell, 3.5 for me. There you go. The cutest little things you ever seen? Yes. It's probably not the best one. Well, I've never played it. It's only from, like, the, the feel I get from... I, I, I have all of those books. Because I feel like that was the edition for me, if you like. But I don't know. Now I'm able to establish connection with Rezo Inc. Uh, monetary processing. This terminal is now a default log and machine viewing mode. Simpler and cheaper. It it is, and it's it's better as well. It's better because it gives you more options, and it's kind of less less binary as well. It's a little bit more free flowing, I guess. 
Only way I played so I wouldn't know. Yeah, I'm playing 5th edition now, I think. The latest one. And I just think, this is this is 5 editions later. Because obviously I'm, I'm quite um, aware of 2nd edition um, with Baldur's Gate. So I kind of know how 2nd edition works. And... Um, it doesn't seem that much different, really. It doesn't seem like anything's changed in in apart from, you know, elves can be bards. Um, apart from that. But I constantly think about making decisions. Indeed, yeah, I think I think D D is completely overrated. Completely overrated. And uh Like I it might be a good I say it might be a good starting point. I don't even think that's true. Um Yeah, I just I just I just uh, I just think it's completely overrated. Uh, Lord help me, help us all, I saw one, frothing in mouth, belly, able to string a word or two together, walking at me as if to devour me holes. Or it was right, the arm wants us here, we need to get out of here if we want to live. A day later. So, so you are insane, there are people, there were people once, I don't know what they are now. About a month later. Crazy assholes don't know how to use a keyboard. I took one from my clinic office and installed it on the bridge gate, be safe. Oh, okay, so we've got we've got a thing there to maybe open the bridge gate now. Let's just read that again. Was it two six one three? Just in case it asks. Bye. I get, I, get, uh, I feel like the starting point might be the problem the whole genre driving from ward games. Probably D&D &D benefits from the vast amount of pre-written modules and stuff. Yeah, it's it's obviously like the the biggest... No, I think this is actually broke. I don't know. Sweet. Please be advised that harm to company assets or personnel as a result of the bridge being op opened will be divided and taken from every Cascania employee's pay. Wow. So now we can get across here. Oh, there's like things that want to kill us. That's lovely. Oh, I need to use the mind ray thing. All right. There's a ladder there. D&D &D definitely has... It obviously has like a huge amount of uh, content. Mechanically, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's terrible. <laughs> oh, so you can get across here, but you can't actually get in. Making that kind of pointless, surely. Has some generators, 30... Two percent capacity. Open Northern Gate. There we go. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Cell. But yeah, I, I just find it frustrating how uh, how derivative it is. Or something. Over encumbered, really? I'm not carrying anything.
I also found that the um, the, the starter kit. Um, we played. Um, yeah, sorry, fight. Rock down your clothes. Um, Minds of Fandelva wasn't very good either. In terms of, I'm not saying it's a bad quest, but in terms of getting you into the hobby, I think I think it focused on a lot of the wrong things. I think D and D's like forgotten its its roots, its its basics pretty much. It um, like it's starter kit, right? So why have five different types of currency? Just have one. Just have gold coins. That's what people expect, right? And you know, just just that kind of stuff, right? Oh dear, I'm fine. I'm sure there's bad guys down here, but maybe it was just a uh, exploding barrel that went red when I hovered over it. Yeah, it works. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, the, the D20s. Um, we got some stuff to do around here. Then there's one here. Star Cross Troopers. Let's have a look at that one. Who's this? No, oh, okay. Okay. She buried Hayes, a member of her old crew there. Okay. That's why I brought her along, so we can do this. Yeah, I was saying to a friend at work today that um Bedwater don't end up like this. Mm -hmm. This is what you get when a corporation takes a dump and walks off without cleaning it up. What was I saying? Um <clears throat> Cool, get out of here. Um, yeah, the, the, I think the D20, even though it's like the an intrinsic thing in D&D, is also one of its worst points. Right, mind control, Ray. Yeah, Ironworks, yeah. Yeah, I'm with you on that. That's why stuff like any, anything that lets you roll two D20s and take the... Uh, This isn't really controlling their brain, is it? Eat some of this. <laughs> okay, it still uses ammo even though it wasn't firing anything. I was trying to make it make the noise again. I think it's going, eat some of this, eat some of this, eat some of this. It's like a Borderlands weapon. Sweet. Nice. Good. Weapons in this game are weird. Yeah, some of them. So much fun to have with critical fails. Yes. Still worked that in though. I worked on a system that has 2d10s versus 2d10 in tests, which I really liked. High skill level has a high chance to succeed against low difficulties. Yeah. 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 That, that, it does sound better. It does. Just going to move this down a little bit actually. You guys there. Rax, let's clear the sulfur sodden fucks out so Hayes can rest in peace. Okay. Let's do that. We have the high ground, so...
Don't know if that did anything. <laughs> Everyone all right? Well done. Well done, ladies. Well done. Very good. Up to, um, will you give Fallout London a try when it releases? Uh, what is that? <laughs> I have not... The only Fallout London I've heard is a mod for Fallout 4. <coughs> That's the only Fallout London I've, I'm aware of. Going to the surface of Haynes Grave is a small log box. Its hinges rusted through and its wood almost completely rotted. It nearly falls apart in your hands, but in it you manage to find a tarnished silver medallion bearing the letters um, Charon. You gonna say anything? Oh. Hayes was the best self sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Now, if we're gonna lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra 2, and we never heard from them again. I think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. If anyone can track them down, it's him. Why do we need their help? The Queen ain't just gonna come out on her own. She'll have dug tunnels into the mountain. I've got theories about how to lure her out, but Anders would know for sure. And they took a UDL contract? I don't know much about it. It paid well, so they took it. They said they'd be back in a couple of weeks and that maybe we could all use the money to get off Monarch. That was a long time ago. So, so they abandoned you? I don't rightly know what happened. I should have tried to track them down back then. But soon after they left, Hayes and the others died. And to be honest, after him, I, I stopped trying because it hurt like hell to do so. Uh, <laughs> what it's worth, I'm glad you're trying to confront it. Thanks. I'm still not convinced I won't come to regret it, but we've started down this path. Might as well see it through. Maybe it'll stop me screaming at night. Mm -hmm. Now come on, let's make tracks before Hiram dies of old age. Hello, Death Incarnate. Welcome in. How are you? It is good to see you. All right, yeah, we're on this quest now. Tired, very tired for some reason. Yeah, I haven't been, I haven't been too chipper lately either. Cheers for the lurk, Rube. We were talking about, um, do you play D&D, Death? We were talking about it earlier, a little bit, and kind of, I, um, feel how completely overrated and flawed the, the entire system is. I was kind of slagging it off a bit. How's my plague? Yeah, it's it's gone. It's just kind of recovering from it. Having for a bit. Oh, nice. Hello. Did a while ago, having for a bit. Okay. Is it because you can't find a group or... Oh yes, aren't we just? This is fun, isn't it? Nice views, a little exercise and fresh air. <laughs> well, and sulfury, spory air. It is a trek, isn't it? Almost like we don't have working lifts or roads. Huh. Everyone all right? 
There are flaws we have to start somewhere. I mean, that's why house rules exist. The story and the fun comes first, whatever your system. Yeah, the story is obviously what carries things. Talking to you, chat too much, you're missing the story. Yeah, okay, I'll never give any feedback to any streamer ever again. Even if it is 100% correct. My mistake for having an opinion. I go. Yeah. Sorry. Don't mess with us. Where the hell is this person? Okay. We're going to have to go all the way up there. Oh, there's more. Oh, boy. I've stopped using the gun that, hello, um, that kills everything instantly. This one isn't too bad though either. I'm on fire! Oh boy. Good. All right. Finally. No! You're still alive? What's wrong with you? Okay. <laughs> Did you get a long weekend then? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Yeah, I'm, I'm highly, highly looking forward to it. Hello, Snarl. We'll loot that big Manta Queen thing if I can find it. It did turn to dust after all. Oh, there it is. That was well worth it. I know I'm over encumbered, obviously. Ah, Pavati, actually. Um, um, well, if we grab this, then you can use this. We can get rid of this and a bunch of other stuff as well. I mean, these are the same thing, aren't they? Um, I, I don't know what I need and what I don't really. I don't. I don't really. Guess we'll get rid of that. Anything I haven't upgraded, I guess I can get rid of. I might have sold my awesome gun of awesome. I don't know where it is now. I don't think I did it recently, though. Get rid of that as well. <clears throat> so yeah, do get a long weekend and very much looking forward to it. And here we are. Told you we'd make it in one piece. Stationing too far now. I hope not. Oh, no. How the hell did marauders navigate the caverns? Well, it's not really... There's only, like, like one cave. Am I okay? So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the long, uh... Long weekend. Here we go. 
Whoops. I'm fine. There you go. We're all we're all okay. We're all fine. The holidays? You mean the well, my our uh, our jubilee? Um, I don't have a lot planned, really. I do not have. Hi guys. Do not have a whole lot planned. I am um, gonna get a few lions. I think that's that's what I've been really missing. Is um. I get that far too, actually. Um, I just, I just need a bit of a rest. Not you. Yeah, it's my old thing, I think. We'll get rid of this. Should have come to finest. I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. You got any plans, Death? Do you have time off for it? Apparently, you can't do a call in a street party. It breaks a bylaw. I don't think that's gonna be. A, um... <laughs> I don't think. I don't. I, I. Not. Not too enforceable. I reckon. I think there's going to be quite a lot of alcohol consumed over the weekend at street parties. <clears throat> That's a little... Nice view, look at that. So alien and weird and awesome. Music, beer, and food. The door. He's... He spooks easy. Nice, yeah, nice place for a sit down. These weird mushroom trees. So cool. Love it. Entirely, like, plausible. It's still really weird. It didn't help the next door or doing um some renovation to renovations. They're they're building an entire new wing on their house. So that's kind of You may not realize this being as you're an outsider, but the blade is nothing to keep the stations on lockdown. Which means you can't ever get to me. So leave already. Damn. We'll see about that. Where do you come from? Burst out the oven or something? Oh! Guy was just sitting down for a little game or something and shot his head off. I feel bad. Here's the elevator, but ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Guess we keep moving forward. Look for another way up. Our overlords won't get fined at all. Well, they have been, but it doesn't seem to matter. <laughs> get a lot of XP. What's, uh... Doesn't seem to be any closer to leveling, though. 
Um, Bab, the new environmental controls terminal is now installed and running upstairs. Congrats. You message corporate about it. You get to manage it. Consider this your official notice to, uh, to hide the access key card deep in the bottom of a drawer somewhere, preferably with the archives. Within the archives or in one of the station's other popular sections because I sure as hell will not allow our station sufficiency scores to plummet due to a pointless safety feature. Don't even think about testing the system out. Emergency sirens will make your ears bleed, and if you accidentally trigger the fire suppression system, it can suck the air from the room faster than the station's last performance review. <laughs> that would work. Wow. Pretty bad. I do. You out there, whoever you are, yes, yes, I can see you. Come here and talk to me. Face the intercom. Huh. After looting, sir. That's how it works, right? Priorities. You missed out on this light ammo otherwise, you see. I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. What in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station? Unless you are, in fact, trying to suicide by Marauder? And you, Nioka, what are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. Hmm. Also, he hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purpleberry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. I didn't see the information broker about... No, no, no. We'll deal with information-related business later. As I said, there are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. The Marauders want me dead. And since my hired hands have clearly turned to idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me... The Broker. Or we can call you Hiram. On account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of the broker being a dumbass alternative. What? Everyone calls me that. Aside from you. Okay, broker. See, Nioka? I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. Oh, thanks. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. How many marauders are there? Too many, considering I hired a bunch of no-good mercs to keep them out in the first place. Already they've caused considerable damage to the station's property. If they take down the broadcast equipment, I'll be out of a job permanently. Now what's in for me? It's fairly obvious, but... Aside from the bits I'll be paying you? Yes. You said you wanted something from me. Yes. Something information related. I'll give it to you in person once I'm safe. Seems fairly obvious that, but okay, bye. Hey, elevators to your right. Get ready. Ready, ladies? Ready? Ready, ladies? Oh.
Bandits! Shouldn't be too much of a trouble, right? Shouldn't be a bother. Yes, I didn't almost shoot you in the back. I missed on purpose. Uh, include weather warning, regional severe alert, next 72 hours chance of thunderstorms and severe thunderstorms, including lightning strikes forecast across the mountain region. From v Ransom, Ramsey, subject emergency protocols to I broker. Stated in my prior four messages, there's simply no cause for alarm. I swear to you, Hiram, the situation's under control. What you call a near emergency would cons I would consider a non-event. Yes, a high energy generation was used for a far too lengthy period of time, and yes, the generator cannot safely support that activity. Yes and yes, they could have been damaged under load, but the point remains nothing happened. We caught the issue in time, the engineers involved were reprimanded. I swear on my mama's grave, it will not happen again. Now please stop co uh, cease contacting me for daily updates on the status of the generators. <laughs> I think we know why they abandoned him. Um, from Avayer to Ramsey from the toilets. What in the black hole were you thinking, Val? At some point, space efficiency becomes the inverse to time efficiency, and one negates the other. What I mean is, how am I to do my morning business when the toilets are directly facing the open showers? You might, you might like watching spellow groups in there, uh, scrub their jinglies while you take a steaming dump. But I don't. I didn't notice that actually. Thanks for the peep show. Not really. That was sarcasm. Theodore. Nice. On the country, Theo, not only is it a specially efficient design, but it also encourages simultaneous users to hurry their business. Uh, don't, don't like, don't look, or speed it up and move on. After all, the faster you're back to your station, the happier we'll all be. I suppose there is some... Uh, what much regards? Yes, if we... I did, I did I did see that design and yeah interesting there is some um some logic behind it not that I particularly agree with it but I see it I have a topic for you tell me what movies you like where the sequel is better than the first movie there's not many of them not many at all. Terminator 2 is the one that does spring to mind. Apparently Maverick's really good. Um, you get... I mean, like a fistful of dollars, that kind of thing, maybe. Um, aliens, oh, that's a weird one. Yeah, that's, I mean... Alien, better than Aliens. Sorry, Aliens, better than Alien. There are different genres of film, though, aren't they? So, you know, it's, it's, it's different to, it's difficult to say. It's like chalk and cheese. Empire Strikes Back, oh, yes, yeah. That's a good point, that one. Yeah. But there aren't many. There aren't there aren't too many. Um very nice not atmospheric controls are online, issue detected with the auto mechanical controls at Lane HQ. Let's just have a look at that first. Uh Request for automatic security and assistance installation. Oh, wait, in response, okay. 
uh, environmental sensors state as all sensors currently indicate a standard level of range regarding temperature and chemical composition through the station so i can deploy fire suppressant systems to remove all the air from them or the alarm which will make our ears bleed let's do the fire suppressant systems in main hall with all oxygen from the chamber, please ensure that all personnel have been safely evacuated. Yep. Sadly, we'd already cleared it. So we could have come in That's this way. I mean, okay, good. Good. No, maybe, maybe we couldn't have come in this way. Okay, no, we, we seem to have done that correctly. More or less. Saved a bit of ammo. Oh, something over there. Did you say Mamma Mia? I wouldn't know. Dark Knight, uh, but you prefer Batman Begins. Okay, these all do. Yes! Um... I think Batman Begins is, is, is underrated because of the Dark Knight. Rambo first blue part here. Um <laughs> well Ah, Marauder free at last. I'll get the door. Do hurry on it. Star Trek. Oh yeah, Star Trek. Hello. Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. My compliments on your improvised utilization of the fire suppressant system. Nice, I acknowledged it. Nothing less from one of Neoka's associates. That's clever. As usual, I'll take that as a compliment. Of course. This ought to square our debt. Money. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But I admit, I do wonder why Neoka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? Neoka needs a favor. It's pretty much it. Oh, great. I love doing pro bono work for friends. Aw. Nice, like Chaos. Hello. Hmm. I'd normally entertain your self aggrandizing delusions, but this time it's important. Important to you is not the same as important to me. Although I do recognize that you may have earned some goodwill during your months laboring for me. Okay, well, we could be nice, but this guy's a bit of a prick. So, hit it with your selfishness, help her, or there'll be consequences. Whoa, hey, there is zero need for violence in this station. <laughs> Look, I'll do what I can, all right? Good. Rebecca Hodges and Anders Wattsworth. They took a UDL contract back when Monarch went to ship, and I need to find them. I believe them to be on Terra, too. If UDL hired two hunters back then... It would have been for creature clearing purposes round one of their spacer's choice outposts. Yes. These are the coordinates for the outpost under the last UDL contract. Now scram. And, uh, good luck. We're totally robbing this guy. Phineas sent me in these locations of the chemicals. There we go. Say it. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. Are you fibbing? Be honest. I take offense to that. Look, okay. I was delayed by MSI and the Iconoclasts. The idiots were scrambling all transmissions to override each other's broadcasts. But as you've shut them down, I'm back in business. 
I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, Achievement. I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. Thank you, Snow. Yeah, when you get into... Uh, I'll see you later, Snow. You take care. When you get into um, superhero territory, it gets a bit muddled. Have to do a whole, a whole, who, a whole new checklist of crap to do before it works, right? Oh, don't be ridiculous. We're resetting a broadcast tower, not filing taxes. There are no errands, spreadsheets, or rituals involved. It makes a change. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Okay. That's it. Except we need three keys before I activate and I'll have to go find them, right? <laughs> Eternal no. What is wrong with you? Who would ever design something like that? <laughs> However, you're welcome to brew me a Rizzo instant coffee from the staff kitchen on your way back. Just step outside, flip the switch, depart forever. Understood? Good. Marvelous. We're in agreement. I like that. This is why I stopped helping out around here, you know. It's always throw this lever, shoot that marauder, save my life. Just one thing after another with you. If that's really all, let's just get it done with and be on our way. All right. Terrific. I'll be here, waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. Hmm. We're taking this. Authorized broadcasters select recorded transmission for a listing of all scheduled incoming and outgoing broadcast. To go live, please ask your producer to initiate broadcasting. Do not begin broadcasting without the supervision of a senior producer. Thank you, Val. Now I'm assuming my sponsors. Tired of itchy acid burns? Try anti Cleo's artisanal broad scented naturalizing cream. Nice. Okay, lovely. Priority, uh, priority transmission log. Accessing. Station primary band is operating with minimal signal interference. That's good. Begin broadcasting. Personal files. Let's do that first. For Blythe. All right. Random title. Clear blue skies. Mood optimistic. Dare I say the future is looking bright. Indeed, I can run a few uh, a full gamut of operations without ever leaving the sanctuary of the broadcast room. Sanjar and Graham are living up to their promises and have not interfered with initial broadcast. Deal is holding, and I, I believe I can make a life here. Sneaky, sneaky, mood sneaky. Had a near miss the other day. Nearly ended up with the board on my trail. We will mark that uh, trial firmly in the failure category. One must experiment, however, to ascertain the best methods. I have found thus far that the most reliable method of evading detection within the limited frequency of Monarch's off-world transmissions involves duplicating regular news broadcasts on several unused frequencies. My information gathering associates now um, know to filter out the sounds of the, of the bulk of range in turn, isolating the embedded data. And the board's authorities are none the wiser. Playing hazards has never been more thrilling, nor high stakes. Should have known. Mo mood furious! Double speak station. Pox it all. These imbecilic children, their hatred for each other. Sanja and Graham have oversaturated my key bands. They'll take down each other all right, and me right alongside them. Should have never invited them to play. What will I do about it now? What to do indeed? Let's have a little look at these. Begin broadcasting. Authorized broadcaster, don't even try to pretend you're you're unaware that broadcasting is currently locked down. Please return to Millingen about the breakdown and lamenting that internship in corporate arbitration you never finished. Or to override the lock on recording, simply enter your admin username and <laughs> in, in the command line. Or you can, maybe you should be nicer to Val. Shame. 
but fine. We're just going to go out here and flick a switch. That's it. Got to find it first. Or is the expansion site over there? Is that where we're flicking the switch? I'll have a look around here first. So that'll be the one on Terra that it's pointing to. Maybe we don't even have to bother. Maybe it was just Bants. We pass travel from here. Looks like we can. Let's hop to the summit first, just in case. Oh, hello. Here we go. Nice one. Well done. That's the last of them. Well done. All right, I'll whip myself to uh, stop me in fire. Whenever you're ready. Thanks. Um. Okay, this is the wrong idea. Hey, Benny. Yep, it's a... It's a good jingle. It's... Truthful. At least. How are you doing? Ah, fine. We've got other things to do. The Empty Man. I think that might be... Uh... Yeah. The Vicar's Quest. So we'll have to head back to... Give him reliable and go and get him. <clears throat> I'm well, yeah, I'm doing alright. I'm very tired. Um, actually, I've not been very well lately. With a, a cold that's not me for six and uh, having to get up for work and everything. Get up early. That kind of stuff. It's just taking its, taking its toll a bit. We'll leave you. We'll bring you. So I haven't streamed in a while, um, so I thought I'd put a, a little one out there to uh, get back into the swing of things, hopefully get some momentum going. <clears throat> Come on, Vicar. Feels like we're getting a lot done now. Good. Seen Arthur today? This is Reginald's stuff, all right, but it looks like he's not home. Let's search the room. Try to figure out where he's gone. Okay. Can't believe I'm still stuck in this law forsaken town, but at least I may have finally found a spot with promise down the tunnel on the riverbank outside of town. Produce one nugget and two teeth. What if I can get a dentist who'd pay for something for the teeth? Okay. Sounds like Cheney's gone gold panning down on the river. I 
suggests even scholars need to find ways to make ends meet in exile. This place has such a, a Bardlands feel to it. Incredible. So yeah, V, I had a call a while back and not been sick of two years, not be out. Exactly, same thing. Exactly the same thing. Three days ago. Give or take, it's all a bit hazy when I think back on it. Yep, yeah, we're, we're in a... Went right in to use a particular software to keep track of stuff, or just Word. Just Word, really, yeah. I've tried other... Um... Other things like, um, you know, I can't even remember, but um, Word's fine. You get, spe you know, specialist software for it, but All right, not in here. But uh, but yeah, Word's fine. Word's just absolutely fine. So if you've got Word, use Word. Uh, I was trying to figure out if Cold War was as bad and just forgot. Crispy Duck, yeah. Um, no, they... <clears throat> it's because your immune system's not done anything for two years, you know, so... Yeah. Well, at least he's there. What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. Doesn't seem too happy, does he? Um, recently finished out of World's Main Quest for the first time. I've started the DLC, never played before. It's pretty good. Yeah, um, Rube was kind enough to uh, give me the DLC. Um, a couple of codes weren't sent my way. So I have them installed. Um, but I'll probably do the main quest first and then see how we feel about the game. Usually just create Word docs, but use OneNote, a, a lot of work. and was Well, if you think OneNote will be better for what you need, then you know, use that. Number four. Not sure what's happening here, but I'm always up for senseless violence. Please proceed. All right, so he obviously knows this dude. So, uh... All right. This guy doesn't look like much of a scholar. Can I do explain? This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. Hmm. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. Maybe he didn't know the book was in French. Oh, he knew. Didn't you? Didn't you? Okay, okay, I admit it. I was tired of your high and mighty speechifying all the time. It was just a joke, I swear. I, I didn't mean nothing by it. Yeah. See, Captain? I've dealt with this swine before. I know how he thinks. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you. Mm. It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. Eh, we'll try and stop him. Not too late. Maybe the answer you've been looking for is in the book. Okay, okay. Talk, Reggie. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. Does sound kind of flimsy to me. It's true. My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. The way he told it, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it. 
couldn't find any buyers when it turned out to not only be French, but banned as well. <laughs> what do you say, Vicar? Fine. We've got more important things to do anyway. All right. So we found him. And now we gotta leave. There's something weighing on my mind. Oh, really? What would that be? I want to thank you for talking some sense into me back there with Cheney. You're welcome. It has been a long time since I gave in to my violent enthusiasm. Yeah, why do you lie about Chani? You're right. I owe you an apology. Yep. I've been so obsessed for so long, I couldn't see anything else. You offered me a place on your crew, friendship, and I used you to get to Cheney. And even then, you saved me from myself. I don't know if I could live with myself had I gone through with it. You owe me nothing, I know, but I... I'm begging your forgiveness. Oh, we can tell him to pack his things, right? But we'll be nice, right? Yeah, he was in prison. Can't remember why. It was a long time ago since we met him. Thank you. I promise I'll be nothing but truthful from this point forward. All right. Yeah, it was a light being in prison. Yeah. Oh, exactly as yeah, that's had. true. He said he was working there. I enjoyed the stint. It did provide me with plenty of time to think. The way I see it, the universe was snapping me back to where I needed to be. You stray too far from the course of your destiny. The world will try to correct for it. Hmm. Friggin' RGB lighting is everywhere. Even on the roads now. So we're heading back to the ship. We're going to go to the groundbreaker. We've got two things to hand in. The space station that we've just done. And then Pavati has a date to go on. Probably. Destination reached. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Kind of work, wouldn't it, for like different traffic um, damaging yourself or others while you are out. Situations and stuff like that. Although um, no good for colorblind people. <laughs> You are coming along, and so are you. Okay, we're in the doing the right thing. Oh, we should let her know. Maybe we should talk to her. Let's do that. Hi. The dust bat casserole Mr. Raymond made smells incredible. Oh, I kind of want to take a little taste. But I'm going to be strong. Now look how cute these cakes from Cascadia are. Someone even traced little hearts in them. Aww. <sighs> I guess that settles dinner. Thanks for hauling me all over creation, Captain. 
Shouldn't you get ready for June Lee now? Well, I was gonna, but then it hit me. Oh, uh, what now? I got this nice meal all planned out with music, and I got that soap to scrub up with, but I don't got nothing nice to wear, Captain. This is fine. Yeah, do you mean to do all this? You're putting off the date. Maybe you're right, and I'm, I'm stalling a bit. But maybe I also need to, so as I can work up the courage. Uh, another bit. There's this place I heard of in Byzantium. Oh my god. Jollikers Haberdashery. Alright, fine. I bet I could find something nigh on perfect at a place like that. You know we can't get there? Well, not today, no, but maybe someday. Wow. I know this is all a little crazy, Captain, but I think it's gotta be this place. Fine. I saw the lady who runs it on Aetherwave, and, well, she made everybody she dressed feel better. Confident. All right, fine. Thanks, Captain. I know I've been asking a lot, but you help me out every time. You're the best. Hello, Hen... Kake, um, I've enjoyed our world since we're at my alley, but for some reason never played it. Uh, what is your alley? And I shall let you know. Um, I have enjoyed it. Yeah, it's a very well put together game. Great UI. Uh, decent combat. Interesting characters. Great locations. It's nothing to... Uh... If you're watching this and you haven't played it, by the way, and you're worried about spoilers, I'm just going to tell you a quest that's... Um fairly deep into the game but isn't I think it's optional and um, isn't going to make too much of a difference to things so are you pretty safe watching um, Western RPGs of Fallout Elder Scrolls are my favourite typically yeah so there's a lot of people have said this is like Fallout and um, because it was made by the same people who did New Vegas and there are touches of it but um it's like a third fallout it's got a little bit of bioshock in it in terms of like how things look and 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 the gunplay it's got a bit of borderlands in there as well and it's not like it's 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 a massive massive epic that'll take you 300 hours to, to complete it's it's a fairly short game as well i believe um i've been playing fairly slowly so it's taken me a little while, but uh, I think you can you can you can bash through it pretty pretty quickly. So um, I suggest definitely giving giving it a go. Finally, a base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. Yeah, the best had scientists in suspicion tanks, so might still be alive. I heard about that. While my lawyers scratch their heads wondering how we deal with human salvage, I'm leaving the researchers in hibernation. Aside from the automated security, did you meet any resistance at the station? I've heard people say it's a lot more shallow than what initially appears. I, I get that, yeah. I think that there is a lot to the combat that doesn't need to be there. There's a lot of mechanics and kind of companion abilities and stuff like that that pretty much don't do anything maybe if you play on higher difficulties they do but if you just play on the default difficulty all you gotta do is shoot stuff and it dies um so i wouldn't say it was like 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 shallow but i'd say there was a lot of stuff in there that that you don't really need that you can skip which you know it's it's fine um Hi, Deshard. How are you? Good to see you. I think it got a bit too much flack when it came out. There were huge expectations for certain fans, of, um, but I really enjoyed the game. Yeah, I think they 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 had a lot of weight of the of New Vegas behind them, didn't they? Um, is it as good as New Vegas? No, it's not. But um, New Vegas was was freaking amazing. You find yourself using abilities a lot in the DLCs. Yeah, so maybe that'll change at higher higher levels, higher difficulties, that kind of stuff. Um But there's there's nothing bad about the game. There's nothing really wrong with it. It's got no annoying features. It's not got any mechanics that you wish weren't there or anything like that. Um it, it plays really slick. 
the UI is really good. It's easy to keep track of things. The journal's really good if you leave the game and come back to it. Very easy to pick off from where you last off and, and that kind of thing. Um, so there's nothing really wrong with it. It's, you know, it's, it's a solid game. It really is. Um, UDL going to sit bus the station, but I convinced them to back off. <laughs> I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch. Maybe even longer. I've been less than honest with you. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. We might have figured that out already. <laughs> um, speaking of Sydney, I started watching a new Vegas stream. It's instant favorite. Thank you, Crispy Duck. It was a good series. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, the... Uh, played an interesting character called The Mechanic. Who um who hated everything in the world. Now we're getting out of worlds too. Yeah, I saw that. I the reason I know that is because when you type in the outer worlds in Twitch, it pops up with the outer worlds too. Um I can only imagine they'll they'll build on this and make it make it better. I can't, you know, they have got a really solid foundation here to do some really good things with it. A rare gas um rare gas lab that tested on people. Couldn't it be a coincidence. You have an eye for patterns. Good. We need more contractors like you. After the Monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big. Something none of us were meant to know. Truth about the human tailbone. It's got an interesting, like, a, like a, a, a twisted sense of humor as well. Like, if you enjoy dark humor, um, you'll really like this game. Uh, you have my interest and you have my attention. Glad to know it, Captain. Ask yourself why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. Yes, you have an idea. <clears throat> Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? Absolutely. Better be good. Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084, and who knows what else. We have to put a stop to it. Aliens? Aliens. Really? <laughs> Aliens. <laughs> You're like a ball. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you to. Thank you for joining, it. Paul. I appreciate it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. Well, at least she doesn't expect us to believe it. This doesn't feel at all right, Captain. The crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions. Questions, questions. This is completely insane. <laughs> A few. If we're going to see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for setting doubts aside. Yeah, the writers are really good. Yeah, it's a really well written, well written game. It's um. Yeah, it's good. I I can't you know it's it's a solid game, really solid game. When you say aliens, what are you talking about? Conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators, assuming they haven't all been replaced. This is an invasion of our very cells. That damned gas is mixing our nucleon with halcyon biology to twist us, change us, make us more like those monsters on Monarch. Little green bastards must pay. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen any evidence of aliens. No kidding. That's how they want it. When I lined up the evidence in my spreadsheet, there was only one possible conclusion looking back at me. This is my data talking, not my anxiety or lack of sleep. How do you know I'm not an alien spy on a mission to silence you? <laughs> I don't know what to make of this. If you don't believe me, go pay a visit to the Puppet Master who's working against her own kind. Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. 
She sold out her species. I need you to put a bullet through her skull. Oof. Wow. Why does she need to die? She's a research scientist and a damn good one. Before UDL poached her, she engineered a 0.2% increase in cysty pig juiciness. Now she's doing the same thing with humanity. Her fingerprints were all over Naughty Station Benny. 1084. You saw what she did to her team. Hmm. When did Sublight get so principled? It's cute that you think that about me. I just want to add savior of humanity to my resume. I've got ambitions outside of this office, you know. Besides, this <gasps> way Sublight gets first dibs on alien salvage. Hmm. Loves that pastor who didn't seem that evil. Go on then, science one. Do you usually come across innocent people trapped in suspension tanks? Because some of us would call that excessive. Fair enough. Remember, the tanks were just the shit she left behind. Just imagine the experiments she carted off to her next lab. Ah, it, uh, so where does she fit into your alien conspiracy theory? We're far beyond theories. Chartrand's logs, the gas, Chartrand, the suspension okay. tanks. How much proof do you need? Wake up, Captain. An invasion needs collaborators working from the shadows. She has access to the board, unlimited funds, and a colony full of sheep. All right, I'll take the job. This key card will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Don't ask how I got it. How'd you get you it? You might not like the answer. How'd you get it? How'd you get it? By oh. now, the <laughs> other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything Chartrand says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that. Lovely. Can't wait. Yeah, well, Byzantium's kind of handy. Yeah. So we can't get to Byzantium now. Um, I can't get to the main <laughs> map, but that's that's fine. Uh, okay, we'll um, call it a day there. I'm afraid I'm flagging pretty heavy, but um, did a lot more than I expected. So um, pretty pleased with that. Uh, next time we're going to go save the human race from from aliens. Hopefully. Uh, if you're watching the V streams, thank you very much for doing so. And toodle out.